Hi everyone, I'm Jason and I'm here to review the Force Awakens trailer. Trailer! Trailer! Da -da. I'm going to be talking about the Force Awakens trailer as if I've seen it. Well, because I have seen it. Uh -huh. I'm not going to be holding anything back. I'm going to be talking about the scenes we saw and what I think that might mean in the actual film. So if you don't want any spoilers, or you're one of those people that just don't want to know anything about what's happening until you go to the cinema, then I'd suggest you turn off that video right now. The trailer opens up slow. It's got Rey. She's climbing down what looks like to be a Star Destroyer. Star Destroyer. She's obviously a strong woman. and She's climbing down this destroyer on her own. She's got no company there whatsoever. And she's just looking for things. She's in some sort of courtyard of the, like a bay, somewhere where they used to have all the TIE fighters. What could she be doing in there? Is, is she a scavenger? And what has she found? I get that impression from what I've read. I get that impression from the trailers I've seen. The next scene shows Daisy Ridley and she's looking up in the sky at the spaceship leaving. A kind of longing, a longing to leave where she is and seek adventure. A bit like Luke Skywalker, maybe. Could Daisy Ridley be a sibling of Luke Skywalker? John Boyega. Wow. I think J.J. Abrams and the rest of the cast have had him running through the whole film. The guy hasn't stopped for a breath. We actually hear him talking. We hear a lot of characters talking. And he sounds good. He sounds very good. I was raised to do one thing. But I've got nothing to fight for. Oh, Finn. He sounds great. John Boyega. Class act, mate. Class act. But what has happened? I mean, Finn is a stormtrooper and something's going on. We see his ship crashing to the planet. We see that. And it looks like the First Order has shot him down. So he must be escaping from them. Something is seriously happening with Finn. Could it be that he's just destroyed one too many villages? What if someone's called out to him with the Force? What if someone like Luke. What if the Force is just saying to him, you're a Force sensitive guy and you're on the wrong side. You need to get away from it. Or maybe it's Poe Dameron's torture that pushes him over the edge. Maybe he's trying to escape with Poe Dameron to get him away from the torturous Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren! First time I saw the shot, first thing that flew into my head was, wow, red weapon. Who's that? And then he spoke. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you started. None of that <laughs> copying Darth Vader, which was an awesome voice. He's got his own unique, kind of psychotic voice. This guy worships Darth Vader. This guy wants to be Vader. He's finishing Darth Vader's job. And what was that? He obviously doesn't know that Darth Vader turned to the light side in the end. Look! 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 Alright, I'll be right there, Aunt Peru. I've got so much more to talk about, but I can't fit it into this one video, so I'm going to fit it into a second video. Thank you everyone for watching the review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got some kooky ideas like I have, get them down in the comments. Let me hear some of your thoughts. What ideas, what things do you see from the trailer because we all see things differently love to see what you saw and don't forget if you enjoyed the video press that like button but more importantly get a comment in there